big one. We are at London MCM Comic Con 2022 Spring Edition, um, and this is time for from one side of the show to the other. And we're starting with the Daleks, the Daleks, part of the Project Dalek, the Dalek Building Resources. Okay, so the show has been open for now and a bit. It's still just the premier ticket owners so far. In another 40 or so minutes, the doors will open wider to the general public, who've paid slightly less. <laughs> and we get a lot wider. Now, here's the first thing. The first thing to know is it's big. Is um, Artist Alley is transformed into a series of large booths, rather than the usual tables one would be accustomed to. Now, they did something similar the last show, but that was more out of uh, circumstance, coming out of pandemic. This time it's a uh, deliberate choice, as you can see. Lots of great work. Let's go, yes, get over there. Give me some wave. Mark Lamming, Paul Cornell, and Emma Vicelli. Emma Vicelli used to run Artist Alley back in the day. Now she's an exhibitor. Mark Ellaby's table. No, yet, no sign yet of Mark Ellaby. Okay, so there we go. And then it's got all the publishers on this side. And then the wider, wonderful, well, there's Feminine Planet down there. So you have wigs, hair pieces. And lots of Star Wars people. Okay, here we go. We have Silver Sabres practicing their lightsaber techniques for young and old. More troopers taking advantage of the uh, different copyright laws in the UK regarding stormtroopers. Sorry, almost there, I was getting away with the photo bomb there. That'll be good. Now this is one side of the hall, the two sides, and you'll probably hop over when you get there. But this is giving, giving you a good feel. As you can see, it's a lot more spacious. Now, obviously the doors haven't opened yet, so there's a lot more people yet to come in. But even so, certainly compared to previous shows, they're making use of the space. It's got a bit more of a an American show feel, which might be appropriate, I guess, now that they've been bought by an American company, Reed Pop. So some of the things that work better there are now being introduced here. And this does give much greater feeling of space than we might have had previously. Although we could probably do with a carpet, because walking, uh, walking up and down is definitely going to do your feet in a little bit. Maybe just mine. Maybe I'm just getting old. I ah, yeah, am getting old. So sad. Walls and walls. A funk home. And so much cosplay. I love cosplay. Me too. <laughs> so. The food and drinks in this town. I'm going to take this opportunity to skip over to the other side of the show. Squeezing through there. Past Snacky Boy. It's always fun when you, when you see the police. You're not sure, are they the police? Or are they, you know, the cosplayers? And it's only the uh, LED lights that give them away. Okay, so we're going to cross over the middle. The centre where everyone congregates. Get some more food and drink. Where Gamba gets to drink his coffee. Now there's the main stages here, which is through there. Through there is the big main stage. Nice and black for now. Kept, kept away and no one queuing for it 
Yes, that will change for the day. Okay. Definitely feeling the space now. Like I said, we, we're quite handy in that at least we can walk now. In uh, 40, 50 minutes, might not be quite as true. But I always like the buzz. I always like the clouds. It's always good to see where they go. And you can flop around them. Now, I'm going in a fairly straight line. I'm not meandering too much. Because this is a fairly big show. So you're getting a bit of a two-dimensional feel for the show rather than the three-dimensional that possibly deserves. I might do another one of these just fast as Halley later. We only kind of like skimmed past there. There's so much stuff on show. But that's where you're going to have all the uh, autograph signing. Lots of space for the lines. Guaranteed to emerge. Okay. Let's dip through here. The STF movie, there we go. Oh, there's Wild River Comics now. Uh, Bleeding Cool's been running some uh, features on Wild River. The new comic book, Daughters of Albion, is debuting at the show. It's been on uh, crowdfunding for the last few weeks. You might have read about it on Bleeding Cool. Well, here it is. I'll pop back there later. Watch out for the uh, March of the Romans. Spartans. Yeah, Spartans. And here's where my daughters especially want me to line up. I'm probably not going to. Until I saw the Genshin Impact line. It seems to be the line of the show. It's the Genshin Impact merchandise. And then all the way to side quests and top Asia. All right, let's call it. As you, as you swing around the line, the Genshin Impact merchandise. Find a little blossom tree to sit under. I think we can say that this is from one side of the show the other MCM London Comic Con Spring 2022. It's on all this weekend, it's just a Friday, and the main doors haven't even opened yet, so lots more to come. Watch for that really cool.